Hey guys, I'm back and I'm about to let y'all in on a recipe that my family has been making for years. We serve it at every gathering because it goes with everything. Stay tuned. This is my take on Southern style rice and peas. Now my version is meatless. There's usually pork or bacon in here, but for healthier portions, we're gonna use dry seasonings and onions for the flavor that it needs. We heat up some cooking oil in a pot, add our diced onions, and we're going to let them cook on low until they start to turn brown. This is about as brown as we want them. We don't want them completely caramelized. We just want to flavor the oil. Let's get our rice ready. Okay, this is the rice of choice. It is parboiled rice. It says it right on the label. I don't rinse this rice. If I used regular rice, I would have to rinse it, but we've always used parboiled rice in this recipe, so that's what I stick with. So right here, we're just gonna keep stirring occasionally so the rice doesn't stick. We want to get the flavor of the oil and the onions in there and we want to toast the rice up slightly before we add the peas and the seasonings. So this is looking nice and toasted. We are ready to add our peas. I'll pour the entire can of the peas with the juice. Then you're going to add three cups of water and stir. So guys, these are the only seasonings you're gonna need in this recipe. The star here is the beef bouillon. Use any seasonings you like or stick to the plan. Now as we add our seasonings, we're just gonna keep stirring the rice so that that broth can soak up all that seasoning. Now once we're done with all of our seasonings, we are gonna stir it a couple of more times and then we're gonna put a top on it and let it cook. Okay, it is time for the big reveal. We're gonna remove the top and look at that. We have achieved perfect rice status yet again. Look at that rice, perfectly seasoned and it pretty much goes with anything. We did this in 30 minutes. It gets no better than this. It's a perfect side dish for any meat, or you can do like my husband does and eat it with scrambled eggs in the morning. Either way, trust your girl with this recipe. We did that. <sighs> my work is done. Peace. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Shaken Bacon Blog.